Shalom. I'm going to give a praise on the glory to Jehovah. Shalom. Shabbat. Shalom. Kakadash. I'm double on the set of elders and apostles of great millstone. Tom's truth and peace, blessing and salutation to the whole full elect. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, man. Literally, <clears throat> the heathen are underestimating Turkey. And, you know, let's. Let's, let's get him. Turkey has threatened to invade Israel to stop their war in Gaza. The Turkish president Erdogan said, We must be strong so that Israel can't do these ridiculous things to Palestine. Just like we entered Libya, we might do the same to Israel. In response to this, Israel said Erdogan is, quote, following in Saddam Hussein's footsteps and is threatening Israel, and we should remember what happened there. Now, if you don't know, Erdogan was referring to when Turkey intervened in Libya in 2020 <coughs> to support the United Nations recognized government. And it's worth knowing that Turkey has already ended all trade with Israel, so these threats certainly could become a reality. However, of course, if Turkey was to actually invade Israel, it's very unlikely that they would actually go to war with Israel. It would most likely be a similar situation, and Turkey would just use their troops and air force to surround Gaza and stop both sides from attacking each other. Except whether they go to war with Israel or not, it would probably be dependent on how Israel responds to Turkey intervening in this war. There's always the chance that Israel wouldn't take it very well, and they might just bomb Turkey and agree. To watch the full video, and yeah, man, <clears throat> we're not calling to prophecy. Turkey's want to be involved with Russia, man. <clears throat> but yeah, let me let me show you the comments real quick. <clears throat> See, these are the usual. Um, also, say the average comments. <clears throat> the leader of Turkey's will talk. If Yemen had their army, <clears throat> the Amalekites would be no more. Or talk no action. <clears throat> They better, but I doubt Turkey will. And <clears throat> and here we go. Good luck, Turkey. You're going to get touched if you try. <laughs> and what else is here? Oh, this guy says, um, well, that full of hot air, considering the obvious fact that Palestine isn't even a country. A state, maybe, and Turkey couldn't fight its. <coughs> Turkey couldn't fight its. What was out? Oh, I'm. I'm, I'm assuming. <coughs> that's a typo. So. It's basically saying Turkey couldn't fight its way out of a paper bag. Then this dude says what well, a lot of BS, empty rhetoric. <coughs> hmm. But yeah, you see. <clears throat> oh man but yeah let's go ahead and go to um Ezekiel 38 <clears throat> and let's go to verse 4 it's just on our turn their back and for hooks into their jaws. <clears throat> Meaning Russia is going to be turned back into the ruthless nation that once was. He said, I will bring thee forth an all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armour. <clears throat> and when you read these things, you gotta envision it, man. You, you, you gotta see it, man. So, so just imagine Russia with their vehicles, they've got their <coughs> troops, thousands upon thousands of troops, and not only that, they're all suited up and booted up. <coughs> and like it says, all them covered all sorts of armour, even a great company, with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So yeah, at this point, the, when they get turned back, they won't be ready for war, man. <clears throat> and that's the only thing that's going to be on their mind. And it says, Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. So they're going to be suited and booted up too. And like it says, verse 6, Goma and all his bands, <clears throat> bands also meaning armies, the house of Togum of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. And... Goma going into, or the house of Togma, basically going into Turkey. And like it says, they're going to have many people with them. 
and they're going to be joined <coughs> with Russia and its allies, man, in that day. And although Turkey is a part of NATO, they're going to turn their back on NATO, man. <coughs> and like it says, verse 7, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company. And going into that word company, man, it means allies or <coughs> friendship. So like it says, And all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So Russia is going to protect Turkey, man. <coughs> and even then, going to the book of Joel, it, it, it makes it, it makes um. No, let me let me just find it first. <coughs> yeah, Joel three, yeah, and two. It says, "I will also gather all nations <coughs> and keep that in mind, man." It says he's going to gather all nations and bring them down to where? Into the valley of Yahweh Shapur, being over there in the east, man. <clears throat> so that includes Turkey. All these nations are going to come down over to the east because the least of the flock being those Amalekites <clears throat> are going to do something that literally caused all of them to come down, man. <clears throat> So like it says, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Yahshua Allah, being the 12 tribes of Israel, which today they're known as the Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, including the Mexicans and Sino Indians. <coughs> and it says, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So yeah, the heathen that are over there in that land, fighting over it, they've scattered the real children of Israel or the real sons of God and because of this the Lord is going to re recompense them <clears throat> and he's going to have them gather in the valley of Yahweh or over there in the east for judgment <clears throat> so that he can judge them man. you know let's get that <clears throat> here we go Verse 9, the plot came ye this among the Gentiles, being the natural Gentiles, being the heathen, or the other nations, or non-Israelites. And you've got to keep in mind, <coughs> there's two types of Gentiles in, the, in, in this book. Like I mean, mentioned, the natural Gentile being someone who isn't an Israelite. And then you got <coughs> a Gentile who is an Israelite, who has forgotten his nationality or <clears throat> the ways of being a Hebrew Israelite. And they could even say um, that Israelite is worshipping the gods of the other nations or the nation that they've been scattered amongst. <clears throat> Just for an example, uh, Hispanic or Latino living over there in Egypt and now he's Muslim, worshipping the gods. Worshipping the worshiping their gods. When really is an Israelite and he'll be known as a uh, Gentile man. <clears throat> For that the scriptures say. Christian first Christians twelve and two says, You know that ye were Gentiles <clears throat> or as the heathen carried away unto these dumb idols even as you were led. And yeah man, the Lord said the Israelites are going to worship other gods when they get scattered abroad. That's how they became as the heathen or the other nations. <coughs> and let me quickly go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <coughs> Jeremiah 16. And... Oh, where is it? Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me start with verse 9. <clears throat> it says, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, but Shem Hamashah of hosts. And I've got go on to that word host, my name is armies. The Lord of armies, man. 
And it says, the power of Yahshua Allah, behold our cause to cease out of this place in your eyes. And in your days, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words. And they shall say unto thee, wherefore have the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shai pronounced all this great evil against us? <clears throat> or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shai, our power? Then shall they suck here. Then shall thou, thou say unto them, because your father has forsaken me, says the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them. And have forsaken me and have not kept my law. <clears throat> so that's how the Israelites became as the heathen man. <clears throat> you can even get this as well. Um <clears throat> Deuteronomy twenty and sixty-four. And the Lord Yahweh Bashimal Shah shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wooden stone. <clears throat> which the majority of our people would have been. <clears throat> snared or trapped. By Christianity. Being the wood. <clears throat> and Islam. Being the stone man. <clears throat> but yeah, going back to the book of Joel. Wait, where is it? Joel 3 <clears throat> and 9, like it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And like the Lord said, man, it's going to cause all nations to come down, man. <clears throat> and the reason is for judgment. It says, proclaim ye this. It's okay, I just read that. It says, be your plowshares into swords and your pruning hearts into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's going into preparing, man. Preparing for what? War. <clears throat> Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Till the cause I might want to come down, or ye hold us shall share. And it says, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Basically meaning <clears throat> when this prophecy comes to pass, their judgment is going to be ready. Man. And the Lord will execute it. For the Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. <clears throat> and you know what, let me get that. Psalms 9 and 16 says, The Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shai is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. And also, let's carry on. It says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So, there's going to be a lot of <clears throat> armies over there, man. <laughs> Just like the scripture says, man. I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Hence why there's going to be multitudes. Multitudes. <clears throat> and it says, The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall be drawn as shining. Basically going into a nuclear missile, man. <clears throat> or you could even say a mushroom cloud, if you want, if you want to be specific. <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's the same thing with, um, with America. <clears throat> like it's mentioned here, Revelation... There's Revelation, Revelation 6 and 4, no, 6 and 13. It says, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast it found time fix when she's shaken over my wind. And what John's basically explaining here is the nuclear missiles when they're airborne. Because <clears throat> when they're at distance, <clears throat> what people are going to see is the fire burning from behind these missiles. And that's the very thing they're going to see. They're going to see fire burning from behind. And it's going to look like a star, man. It's going to look like a star literally coming towards them. 
And like it says, and the heaven departs the scroll when it's rolled together, gone into a mushroom cloud. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Why? Because of the explosion, man. <clears throat> and even then, <laughs> we can get this as well. The understanding on the verse 14. You can go ahead and go to Isaiah, man. Isaiah, Isaiah 13 <clears throat> and 13. Like it says, Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord Yahweh shall of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. And you know, I'm, I'm sure there's more. <clears throat> you see, and even here, man, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners that are out of it. And he's going to leave it desolate by way of those missiles, man. The intercontinental ballistic missiles. <clears throat> and carrying on. And this is talking about Babylon or America. Because there's two day of the Lords. There's one over there in the east and there's going to be one over in the west. And like it says, for the stars of heaven and the constellations shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened, it's going forth, and the moon shall, of course, a light to shine. And that's going to be because of those mushroom clouds, man. Or like you mentioned in Revelation chapter 6. <clears throat> a, a, what's it called? Um, a scroll rolled together. <clears throat> it's literally going to be like thick, thick black carbon smoke. Which, that type of smoke, light won't be able to pass through it. And even then... <clears throat> If you look at what happens when a nuclear missile is detonated, these these are the these, these what I'm about to say um, is some of the effects that these missiles are gonna have on the environment <coughs> going into nuclear winter. <clears throat> and the reason why there's gonna be winter or snow is because the sun is going to be blocked out, and the same thing for the moon and the stars, man. <laughs> you either know if it's nighttime or daytime. <laughs> <clears throat> and even then, with with how cold it's going to be, literally everything is going to die. So that that can introduce famine, man, a worldwide famine. And we know what the scriptures say about that, man. Second Andrew sixteen and twenty two, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And even then that sword could be talking about the great sword, man. <laughs> going into um those nuclear missiles, man. Because a lot of people are gonna be deceived into taking the MLCB, which is the RFID micro CHIP. And also you got the brain CHIP as well, man. A lot of people gonna be deceived into taking it. And a lot of people gonna be destroyed by these missiles, man. <clears throat> And also, let me get this as well. Um, yeah, the book of Obadiah. To basically tie in the day of the Lord being upon the heathen. There we go, Obadiah 1 and 15. It says, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So, yeah, they took the Israelites into captivity. They scattered them to the four winds. That's going to be done to them. And not only that, they're going to be destroyed by way of the sword, man. Basically, war. <clears throat> and even then, what must be called... Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I can get or need to get. Because I want these videos to be um, edifying. Hmm. You know what? <clears throat> Let me get this. 
Isaiah 14 and 1, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Yashallah, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, being those Israelite foreigners man, that have been scattered abroad. <clears throat> and it says, And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Yashallah shall possess them in the land of Yahweh, but Shema will share for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, basically going into recompense. Their their own demons coming upon them, so coming upon them, man. <clears throat> so they're going to captivity, man. <laughs> and the house of David are going to do it. How? I'll show you. Where's the book of Psalms at? Psalms, 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 140, Psalms 147, and, f no, 149, Psalms 149 and 5, actually, no, nah, let me start at 4, ah, uh, no, nah. no, nah, let me start at 1. Praise the Lord Yahweh Bashima Shai, sing unto the Lord Yahweh Bashima Shai a new song. And it's praise in the congregation of saints. It yeah, being that doctrine, man. That hundred percent truth. <clears throat> and it says, Let the let Yahsha Allah rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Yeah, and Zion meaning monument or a memorial. <clears throat> it says, Let them praise his name. In the dance, let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. And it says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, take his pleasure in his people. He will purify the meat with salvation. He had gone into his elect that is chosen, man, from the foundation of the world. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. And also, let me just quickly get Revelation 13 and 10. <clears throat> Revelation, Revelation, where is it? <clears throat> yeah, Revelation 13 and 10. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is why the saints have to be patient, man. Because they're the ones who are going to take the nations into captivity so like it says that the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praise of god be in their mouth and their two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance payback upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise you the lord yahweh washai and not only that, we can actually go to um, the book of Amos. Where's Amos? Uh, Amos 9 and uh, 11. In that day, we will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, being the ministry of the prophets, <coughs> or the 144,000, and close the breach of the and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, which this is talking about a spiritual house. Going into, like I said, the ministry of the prophets. And let's get it, man. I think it's First Peter 2 and 5, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, what was it called again? Um, yeah, First Peter 2 and 5. It says, Ye also as lively stones are built up as spiritual house and holy priesthood. See, so going into the 144,000, the ministry of the prophets, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. <coughs> and carrying on, verse 12, it says, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Yeah, because the third part of men are going to be destroyed, which are Edomites, man, in Revelation 9. And of all the heathen which are called by my name, save the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai that doeth this. So there you go, man. The house of David will take these nations into captivity and, and repay the things that have been done unto them. Or should I say, unto the Israelites. 
And you know, I can even carry on to be honest. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the child of grapes him that sow seed, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build away cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And if you notice in the curses, this, it literally said we would do all this, but another shall take credit for it. And that's literally what the heathen have done. We built, we built their kingdoms and their nations, and they took all the credit. And guess what? <clears throat> the heathen are going to build up our kingdom. And guess what? We're going to take the credit. And verse 15, it says, And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of the land which I have given them. Save the Lord, Yehovah Shemal Shai, thy power. So there you go, man. I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to Yehovah Shemal Shai, but Shemal Kadash, and Shalom, man.